In this tutorial, I will show you how to create a world in Gazebo Classic and how to save it so you can reuse it later in your ROS application. And first things first, make sure you have correctly installed Gazebo. So if you have installed ROS with, so sudo apt installed ROS2, so actually ROS dash distribution and then desktop, this should have installed Gazebo. If you still don't manage to run Gazebo, then you can do rawsumble Gazebo. Oh, actually, you have a lot of stuff. So Gazebo like this, and just put a star, okay? And that's gonna install. So actually, I have stuff to update. So good time to do it. And that should install all the Gazebo stuff for you. So with this, you should be set. The last option, but that should already work. Last option is just to do sudo apt install Gazebo like this. But first try with the ROS packages, okay? Then once you have this, make sure you source your environment. So maybe also just reopen a terminal to be safe. All right, and now you have Gazebo that's installed and set up and you can just run Gazebo like this. You just type Gazebo, press enter, and that should start Gazebo. So if it's the first time, maybe it's gonna take a bit of time, but you will eventually get to this. Make sure you check the FPS Okay, at the bottom, here I have 62 FPS. If you don't get a correct value, if you have less than 10 FPS, then, well, then that's probably not gonna work correctly. So maybe it's because your computer doesn't have enough resources. Maybe it's because you use a virtual machine. Okay, so first make sure you have a correct FPS and solve that before you go further. All right, so we have a empty world here. There's nothing, we just have those axes, okay? so. The red is the X and then the green is Y axis and we have the Z axis in the blue here. You can go on insert and here, well, you will not have this. You will, you see I have connecting to and then there's this uh, library here. So the thing is you will have to wait a bit. So I'm going to wait maybe a few seconds, maybe a few minutes. Okay, you can see here I already have this one. So you need to wait a bit and then once you have this, so make sure you wait at least maybe even five minutes, okay? And then once you have this, you can start to add some stuff. So for example, I'm gonna add a, a bookshelf here. All right, a bookshelf. Uh, you can add you can add some pretty big stuff like uh, an ambulance, a complete apartment, okay? So you just click and then you add it here, okay? And then you can, with different parts of the mouse, so for example, the middle click here, you can rotate. Then you can zoom in, zoom out with the left click. You can move the mouse. I really recommend that you use a mouse for this. Uh, and then here on the screen. So if I click on this object here, I can actually translate. I can translate it like this. You can see I can even translate into the Z axis. Well, and I can remove it by clicking on delete. Okay, you can even rotate here if I want to rotate like this. So you can translate and rotate any element that you add. So let's add a few other ones. So you can see now I have uh, I have this other library. And after you have added some elements, they're gonna be also saved in a local place. Okay, so for example, I'm gonna add a coffee table and uh, what's this cabinet? Okay, I can just add any, any object I want. Okay, so just gonna add those random objects here. And I think now you got the idea. Now on top of that, what you can also want to do is to add some walls, okay? Create kind of a room. In this case, you just go on edit and building editor. Okay, or you can, here you can see the shortcut. And then you go to this view here. So on the bottom, you have your world. On the top, you have kind of a grid here and you can create some walls. So let's just click here and I'm gonna do left click and create a wall here. I'm just gonna left click and press escape here. And if I zoom out, you can see I create a wall. So it's not necessarily the best view ever, okay? Um, you can see the wall starts to be created here. Again, I can zoom in and zoom out here. So I can just click on wall and then you can well, add some walls, just gonna it's, as I told you, the navigation here is not super, super easy, but 
can just add some words here, like this, for example, if I want to close the view. Well, it takes a bit of time to get used to it, like this, for example. Well, I'm not making it perfect, but basically I have created a room here, and then I can add some windows. Well, the windows are not going to be so useful here, but just add some windows if I want. And then the doors. So doors are quite useful here. It's going to create a way for your robots to actually go inside the room. So I have a door here. And then you can add some stairs if you want, and you can create different levels. Okay, here I have level one. I'm just going to keep it simple like this for now. Great. And then I can also put some textures in the wall. Okay, because now the walls are just gray. So I can just say that now it's going to be a, a brick wall, for example. Like that. Okay, and this one. All right. And so with this, I have created a structure. Okay, so if you have a, a plan, so like a PNG file with uh, this kind of plan, you can also import here an uh, image, okay, PNG or JPEG as well. And you can create your walls from a plan that you already have, like an architect plan. All right, and so once you have this thing here, then make sure you save it first. Okay, you go on File, Save As, and you can see by default you will have in your home directory, so here slash home slash username, it's going to create this building editor models, and then you're going to name it, um, let's say, test model. Okay, let's save. Okay, it's important that you save it first. And then you go on uh, exit building editor, and you can see that you cannot edit this. So you cannot edit just the walls. Okay, so you're going to click on exit. And now we are back to the world where we have the objects and we have this, which is, you can see, a new model. It's called test model here. Okay, so in the models, we have the, well, the ground, we have the bookshelf here, the coffee table, etc., etc., and we have the model. We can also move it like this if we want, okay? Now that's just another model, like it's just like a bookshelf, it's just like a table, okay? So you can even copy and paste it. You can add another one if you want. If I do Control C, Control V, I can copy and paste, okay, and add it. And now I'm gonna remove it. And as you can see now, you can find here under Models, and you can find it here. If you go to Insert, you can find it here, Building Editor Models with Test Model. I already had a test one I did before, okay? So this is where you can find it. And now that you have your world, then you can go on File, Save World As, and here, well, I'm in my home directory, so I'm just gonna save it here. I'm just gonna name it World um, Test, and then you will give the extension dot world, like this. So whatever dot world, I'm gonna save, and then I can quit Gazebo. And if I want to run this world again, what I can do is just do gazebo. And then what well, I have first, my file is here, world test.world. So I do gazebo and I just put the file name like this as a parameter. And you can see we are back to this world. So now you can save it again, etc., etc. All right, and that's the end of this tutorial. And if you want to learn more about TF, URDF, Zacro, launch files, and also how to actually create a world in Gazebo and run a custom robot that you have created in Gazebo, so how to spawn it, how to control it, etc. Then I have a complete course just for you, which contains nine hours of video content. And you can check out the link in the description. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.